On the fourth page of our review, we're going to be dealing more with tangents and angles formed by intersecting chords, secants, and tangents. So in our first two problems, we have some tangent problems here. What we do know is that we have, if we have two lines that are tangent uh, to the circle, they're going to be congruent. 4x plus 23 equals 10x minus 19. I'm just going to solve that by adding 19 to both sides. 4x plus 42 equals 10x. I'm going to take away 4x from both sides. 42 equals 6x. I divide by 6. x equals 7. Now here they want us to find EF. And so we're going to have to take EF and plug in our x there. So 10 times 7 minus 19. That's 70 minus 19. That gives us uh, 51. On the next sort of problem, you have to look at the bits and pieces here. What we do know is that if this piece is 5.9 right here, this piece is also 5.9. To get from P to this point right here, we know we have to take our entire piece from P to Q, 27.4, and take away uh, 5.9. So let's do 27.4. Minus 5.9. That's going to give us 21.5. If we know this is 21.5, this is also congruent. We know this is 12.2, this is also congruent, 12.2. Now they want us to find the perimeter. We do that by adding all of our pieces together. So go ahead and add all of these pieces right here. And we get 79.2. On our next problems, we need to decide if our uh, intersection is on the inside, outside, or on the circle. Now here we know that our intersection is happening inside the circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our two angles, add them, and then divide by 2. So I'm going to take 140 plus 92. That gives me 232 divided by 2, that's 116. So if we're looking for angle A, P, D, that is definitely 116 degrees. Now if they want us to find D, E, C, that is an angle that's supplementary to 116. So we're going to take, for this one we're going to go 180 minus 116 and see what that is. 64 degrees. On question number 24, our uh, intersection is happening on the line here. So, or on the circle, I mean. So what we need to find is angle QST. QST is this angle right here that we're looking for. Uh, what we do need to know is that this arc is 98. We can figure out this other arc by taking it away from 360 to go together. They make the entire circle there. That's going to give us 262. So what we do with that 262 is we cut it in half to get our arc. So it's going to give us 131 degrees. On question number 26, the intersection is happening outside our circle. So we take our larger arc minus our smaller arc. And then we're going to divide that by 2. So we're going to go 125, take away 51, 74, divided by 2. 